Hello and welcome to part 3 of the series about constructing the hand grenades in SOLIDWORKS. In this video I am going to construct several parts since they are all relatively easy to do. We have the fire pin, we have the spring, the primer top, primer bottom, primer rod and explosive one. We will start with the fire pin. You can see all the dimensions on screen. It's also standing straight up and we're doing to do a revolve to start with. So, okay, let's start. We start with a new part. Select the front plane, sketch. Fire pin is also standing straight up. We're going to do a revolve, so we use the front plane. We first put the center line vertically. Then we start using this to construct the shape of the fire pin. I'm constructing it. Pay attention not to make any unwanted relations between lines because this will cause problems later on when we start dimensioning things but that's the basic shape There are three lines that have a relationship. This vertical line, this vertical line, and this vertical line. So we select all three and use the shift key and then select collinear. Because now we only have to dimension one of them. Otherwise we have to mention more so let's start with the dimensions you know that this, this angle is 30 degrees the height of that one is 1.5 second one is five then we have a 0.5 12.5 this middle part was 3 millimeters and the top part is 1 millimeter so now we have constructed the vertical lines so let's continue With the circles for this we start with the in the most inside one because that creates the less of problems diameter one then the second smallest one is this one 1.5 diameter symbol then the third one is on top. It's three millimeters. And then the last one is this one. 7.8 millimeters. Okay. As you can see, we have fully defined the fire pin. Now we can revolve second three marker and there we have the basic fire pin. So what else do we have to add to it? Let's go into the drawing. Okay, we see on top we have a small dome with a height of 0.5. 
And here we have one, two, three, four, five fillets. Okay, let's do that. Before I select it down, insert features. There is the dome. Select top. And it was 0 0.5. Check the green marker. That's the dome. Now go to the fillets. The fillets, they were 0 0.05. This edge, that edge, that edge, that edge, and that. The last one is not correct, so we have to delete it. And only change that edge over there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So that's our fire pin. Only one thing left. What does it say? Material brushed steel. So, material steel brushed steel selected. Hold the left mouse button and draw it all the way to the top of part. Okay, so we can save this one and move on to the next. So the next one will be the spring. We have a diameter of 6 millimeters. The material diameter is 0.5. The height of the spring is 8. And we miss the number of revolutions. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, let's start constructing this. New part. Since it's all it's also standing up, but we use the helix and spiral. So we start constructing on the top plane with a diameter of six millimeters. Features curves helix. So what do we know? The height was 8. The number of revolutions was 13. And we start at the zero angle so we can construct at the right plane. Right plane, sketch. Circle, 0 0.5. Okay, that's the circle, center point, control, select the spiral, pierce. Okay, exit the sketch. So now we choose for thread ball space. Already has pre-selected the sketch. Now we only have to select the curve, it's this one. Enter. Okay, that was a simple one. The only thing is the material. What was the material? Carbon steel. Okay, let's add some steel. Where's the carbon steel? Carbon steel is over there. Drag it to the part. That's it. We hide the spiral. So here we have, we have our spring. So we can save it and move on to the next. Okay, next one. Primary top. That's the easy one. Diameter 5, high 2. Okay. Point 0.3 material earthenware okay well let's see 
new part. Uh, we're going to extrude this one. So we will start at the top plane. Diameter. Five. Extrude. Upwards two millimeters. Okay. And put in a fillet. Point three. That's the fillet. Material earthware. Where is it? Organics. I don't know. Oh, it's probably here. Stoneware. Earthware. There it is. Earthware. Okay. Primer top finished. Save it and move on to the next. Next one, primer bottom. Height 5. We have to cut it out the material. 0.2, top them opening for uh, 6 millimeters. Round corners 1.5. Or the dimension 1.8 material brush on aluminum insiders and wear. All right, let's make this one. New part, do the same as with the one before. Sketch on the top plane because we're going to extrude. The diameter was 11.8. Okay, let's true this one five millimeters. And then we have a fillet one point five on top like that. Okay, that's the basic shape. Then we have to shell it out. Select shell, select the bottom. That's the face we want to get rid of point two was the thickness okay now it shelled out now I have to create an opening at the top so we select the top new sketch circle in the middle it was six millimeters okay then we go to extrude Cut. We can go all the way through lines. Okay. So that's the shell. Now we have to create the inside part, which is actually a, a filled material, explosive material real in, in, in reality. We have to create that one. So for this, we will use the front plane. Go to the front plane. Um, change display size hidden visible lines okay so now we can convert entities select this one this one let's let's start again because i moved my 3d mouse so i'm going to convert entities this one this one This one, this one. Like this, okay. Align to the center, to the top, the inside. And we trim that line out. So we have this cross section because we're gonna revolve it. Now we go to revolve the axis. You can choose 
but uncheck the merge results because we want to have two parts okay change display again so now we have an inside part and an outside part so the only one only one it's one thing left yeah material inside materials there's nowhere ah, that's easy i still have it pre-selected drag it drag it to the revolve but we only want this on the inside part like this the other one was brushed aluminum so aluminum brushed aluminum aluminum it's a difficult word for me to pronounce aluminum aluminium or aluminum two ways to pronounce it um we go to the cut extrude or just go to the top it's the best choice okay so looking good save this one and move on to the next so final two explosive one and the primer rod i will do together because it's easy easy to four okay material sand okay let's start creating the primer rod the part select the top plane because i want it standing straight up diameter of four millimeters and the length of 52 wow doesn't get much easier than this um material earthenware so we select material where is it stone stoneware i think earthenware yes okay put it on well primer rod next one final one top plane again explosive one diameter was 11.8 with a height of 11 okay it had a fillet at the bottom 1.7 no 1.7 the bottom okay this material was sand 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 where do i find sand oh sand also in here oh, where is sand there it is organic miscellaneous sand select the top that's it okay that is the end of this video thank you for watching leave your comments or your likes subscribe everything is appreciated thank you